here is the question number two. Uh, let me read what it says. It says that uh, two identical light metal containers filled with equal amount of water. They are placed in a room which has been maintained at a constant temperature, 25 degrees Celsius. A small metal ball is suspended by a thin non-conducting string and is submerged in one of the containers. The mass of the ball and the water is equal. Both containers are heated to the same temperature, 40 degrees Celsius and then they are allowed to cool down. Container with the ball takes k times longer time to cool down to the room temperature as compared to the another one. And we need to find out the uh, specific heat capacity of material of the ball if the specific heat capacity of the water is known to us. So we look at the options. So it is a relation between uh, SW, which is uh, specific heat capacity or specific heat of water, and SB, which is a specific heat of material of the ball. And we need to answer in terms of the K, K is a factor of the time difference. So we can uh, solve like this way. And uh, we need to first draw the pictures to visualize what is going on. And let's say this container has a mass M water. This container has mass M water as well as the ball of mass M and outside temperature has been maintained at 25 degrees Celsius. Initially, the entire system, this, these two uh, containers were given a temperature of 40 degrees Celsius. So you'll find there will be temperature difference and the heat will be lost in terms of radiation, so that will be cooling. So for cooling, we can use the Stephen's law or um, Newton's law of cooling. So as per the Stephen's law, the rate at which the heat is being lost is given by dq by dt is equal to e sigma a t raised to the power 4 minus t naught raised to the power 4. Now we can apply the same thing, uh, this formula for container 1. When we apply this form formula for container 1, this heat loss will be equal to uh, ms delta t by t. Now here, uh, this water will be losing heat as well as the ball will be losing heat. So uh, the heat lost by the water plus heat lost by the ball per unit time is equal to the total heat loss. And this minus is because this delta T by T is uh, negative. So to maintain that. From here we will find M we can take out which is common because both water and ball are of equal mass. This number is a particular number. So uh, we will get this uh, specific heat uh, of uh, water plus specific heat of ball into dt by dt is equal to this number. Similarly, we can apply the uh, rate of cooling law for this case. In this case, you'll find uh, this portion will not be there. Ball is not there and everything else is there. So after simplification, you'll find it will be specific heat of water and dt by dt is equal to the same number on the right hand side. Now then after what you can do, you can take this dt integrated or you can say that uh, uh, these right side are identical, so left side are also going to be identical or you can go for the integration both sides, whatever you want to do, you can do that. So uh, if you take this dt this side and integrate, then you'll find this number will be common and it will be having t1 and t2. So this takes t1 time, this takes t2 time. Moreover, on the right hand, uh, in, on this left hand side, on this side, you'll find uh, this will be temperature difference in the case of first, this will be temperature difference in the case of second. So I have summarized the two and written directly over here. When we are going to do that and divide, then you'll find this number will get cancelled out and it will be basically delta T upon T1 and this is going to be delta T upon T2 and these will be the products or multiples. Now, yet this delta T is difference between 40 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius. So this will be identical for both because they are cooling down by the same temperature difference. And this is T1 time, this is T2 time. Now you can connect it. From here we can write T2 is equal to SW upon SW plus SB into T1. Now given that in the question is uh, that uh, with uh, the container with the ball takes T1 time and the container with the uh, without ball takes T2 time. And the question says a container with the ball takes K times longer more time as compared to the container which is uh, without the ball for, for cooling down by the same temperature difference. So T1 is basically K times T2. Now we can compare this with this. Then you'll find K must be equal to SW upon uh, SW plus SB upon SW. It's reciprocal. 
so um, you will find uh, we can do the cross product or cross multiplication and then we can find the specific heat of ball so specific heat of ball is going to be equal to k minus 1 into specific heat of water that will become our final response if we look at the options c option is going to match perfectly hence we will say c is the correct response so this is how it can be solved thank you